Gaziantep is one of the most major gastronomical cities in the world. Ask any Turk, they'll tell you that the best food in Turkey is found in Gaziantep. Mind-blowingly delicious. With its fusion of Anatolian, Mediterranean and Middle Eastern tastes, it is known as Turkey's gastronomical capital. So the question for today's video is, is the food in Gaziantep worth the hype? Is it as good as they say it is? Well, in today's video, we're gonna find out. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. You join us as we explore the east of Turkey. With mystical lands, adventurous train rides, great wild camping spots and interesting characters. Welcome to the city of Gaziantep, located here in Turkey's southeast corner. So we found this car park right in the heart of the city and walking distance to the bazaar and all the really cool places. It's 12 TL a night and today's video is going to be all about food. Yes, we're going to eat a lot of food. Are you hungry guys? <laughs> I hope you haven't had breakfast yet. No breakfast. No breakfast. Right, let's start. Oh, olives. As soon as we left the car park, there's food. River's getting attention already. Walking along all the way down, there's just shop after shop of uh, nuts. What a fabulous place. I love these metal shops with all the teapots and this huge one here. Look at that. Merhaba. Günaydın. So this is the first stop today, Metane Lokantasi, and uh, it's a good sign. The place is absolutely heaving. You always know it's a good sign when the place is packed. So this place is famous for this lamb dish that's served with rice and uh, put in a little bit of a soup. And traditionally, it's served here at breakfast time. The place is absolutely rammed with people. So after they portion them out, they put them on this fire, which is blasting at a rapid rate and heating up the lamb and the soup. It looks absolutely amazing. It's wonderful, you can see from the side of the restaurant down here, they're making all the bread fresh with their wood-fired oven down there. Çok güzel. <laughs> we finally got a seat. What an amazing place. I am so excited. It was really interesting about the bread is it's made all by hand and you can actually see where the man has like molded it, shaped it with his fingers to create this beautiful fresh smelling bread. You just can't beat fresh bread. So we got a portion of Iran which is uh, like a yogurt milk drink traditional here in Turkey and uh, you add a little bit of water in this one to get the right consistency. That's about right, I think that's right. Oh that's delicious, slightly, it tastes like liquid yogurt, it's good. Okay so this dish is called Beyran and uh, it comes actually in two different types. I have a spicy one, Marianne has a non-spicy one and uh, it's basically lovely delicious lamb meat with rice in this wonderful soup. It also comes with this bread that I've already started eating and uh, a plate with some lemons and some chilies. So I'm just going to squeeze the lemon on top and dip that Oh, that's lovely. The, the lemon cuts through and it's really lamby, fatty, hot soup with like the rice as well to balance it all out. It's lovely. So the 
there's lots of lamb in this and the rice and you can see all the chili that they put in and it smells very meaty and rich soup so i'm excited to give it a go on a cold morning like it was this morning that is a proper comfort food you've got the meatiness of the lamb a nice rich soup and the kick of chili just hits you as you eat it absolutely delicious what a way to start the day so just next to the restaurant that we've been in opposite there is uh, also with the same uh, the same company they're making this wonderful uh, pistachio roti it looks like so what they do is they get the dough and uh, they grease the counter they then flip it uh, proper roti style until it is absolutely huge They then stretch it out and form it into a perfect rectangle which they cut in half, they make two sides. They then cover it in crushed pistachios, sprinkled with sugar, kmac which is like a rich cream, and then they fold it up, put it in a wood burning stove, and then the magic happens. And ours has just arrived on the table right there <laughs> so this is the final pro product look at this it's called catmare and it looks absolutely delicious i'm excited give it a bash marianne Mm. Really light, crispy, flaky pastry. It's a very thin layer, so it's not overwhelming of sweetness. Oh, that is delicious. Yeah, I don't need to share this one. <laughs> okay. Warm, soft. Oh, it smells delicious. Pastry. Mm. That is wonderful. What I like is the fact that it's not over sweet. And the cream, the pistachio, and the sweetness of the sugar. It's like the ultimate sexy pancake. Oh my god! <laughs> did you just say that? I did, and, and I mean it. It's absolutely wonderful. There's so many foods in Gaziantep that I haven't seen uh, throughout the rest of Turkey. I haven't personally seen this one and uh, I'm pleased we found it this morning. So after all that fantastic food, guess what? Yeah, we're gonna go and find some more because uh, one thing you have to do in Gaziantep is eat, <laughs> which we're not complaining about today at all. We'll just be a little bit hyperactive instead with our sugar. Eat, eat till you drop. Yes. The secret is to share dishes. Don't get one each. It's very tempting. Marianne's giving me that look of, I don't share baklava, but actually you're going to. Because <laughs> otherwise you're going to be going, why did you let me eat all that baklava? So today is actually Sunday. We're walking around uh, the city in, on a Sunday. And uh, surprisingly, there are quite a few shops that are actually closed. check out all these spices i just love it and the smell as you walk around is amazing with all these dried peppers here look isn't that wonderful so we're just walking along we've seen this place class tatley that sells like lokma covered in pistachios and other things covered in pistachios and it looks absolutely delicious they've just given us these uh how would you call it it's like a bit of churros with chocolate and uh, pistachio on top and yeah, they dunked it into the chocolate covered it in pistachios put it on a stick oh my god Mm. Oh, <laughs> how good is that, Ben? Mm. That is so sweet. 
Oh, well, I like this. Mm. <laughs> that is not at all what I thought was going to happen in my mouth. It's crunchy. Naughty but nice. So we've come down this little side street into a market. They've got lovely spices here, nice shop here. Whatever. <laughs> oh, pistachios. Pistachio. If you're walking around Gaziantep and you hear the word fistic, it means pistachio. Gaziantep is uh, Turkey's pistachio capital, and you will see pistachios everywhere and pistachio products everywhere oh, oh there you go oh, look oh, pistachio spread they're aubergines oh, oh these are dried aubergines are they yeah peppers aubergines peppers aubergines. so we've come into this area now which is actually an indoor market i just love these little markets here and uh we're literally surrounded by streets there's one behind me there there's another one behind me there, and it also goes off in that direction there too. As we always say, you can't beat walking around, you know, the old town and the traditional style markets. Walking around Gaziantep, you will hear locals refer to the name of the city as Antep. And originally, back in the day, Antep was the name of this city. And uh, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, after the uh, war and the independence of Turkey, gave the name Gaziantep to this particular city because Gazi means survivor. Survivor of war. Survivor of war. And that's why it's called Gaziantep. Look at all these wonderful crafts down here. Absolutely amazing. That's beautiful. Look at the detail on this pot here. so nice walking around the uh, the market and seeing all the natural handmade crafts that are still happening skills like you just don't see uh, anymore so often in the modern world how amazing does this look Marava! they've got look at this olives Oh, this looks absolutely delicious. And then they've got this uh, selection over here. Lots of different hot dishes. Amazing. Thank you. Teşekkürler. <laughs> this might be why it's the gastronomical cultural center of Turkey. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, chickpeas and yogurt. Turkish yuvarlama. Very good. Very nice. Yeah. This is a burgo chickpeas meat. Uh, chickpeas. Yeah. yeah. This is burgo. Uh -huh. Chickpeas meat. This is the tomato. Oh, nice. Yeah. This one Turkish dolma, uh, eggplant, mm -hmm. pepper, garlic, rice. Very good. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah. This is uh, garlic, onion, uh, chickpeas, uh, yogurt, uh, Turkish shivedis. Oh, sounds yeah. lovely. Yeah. Fresh garlic. Nice. So we've been looking at all the dishes here and we can't choose. So we've decided to have a little bit of a little bit. So Cheska's in the kitchen, she's the chef for the day. So Marianne and Cheska have gone and got a selection of dishes. We're starting off with some meze. Look at this. They all look very colourful and very interesting. Served with a bit of bread. Uh, we'll have this to start. Uh, did you order main course too? We did. The, the mezes came on, you could have a little bit of everything and, and you could choose five dishes on one platter. Amazing. But Cheska and I sort of looked at each other and went, there's so much choice, let's just grab another one of something else <laughs> as well. So I've got the olive one. I'm hoping that's not chilli. Mm. Parsley, onion, red pepper. And they're not marinated or really salty. They, they actually taste really fresh. So I'm going to try the uh, chickpea and yogurt one. Chopped parsley in yogurt. 
with chickpeas and a little bit of uh, paprika I would say. Delicious! This one is aubergine and red peppers and I think Chess chose this one but this is I think going to be my favourite. Mm. Oh, that's really lovely. The fresh herbs, the parsley. Oh, that's delicious. There's a bit of heat as well. There's some chilli in there, but it's, it, uh, it's not too hot. This one here is a bean and it's got parsley, mint, a little bit of onion in it and a bit of pepper. Mm. All of those flavours work. Oh, chickpea and meat soup which looks delicious with spices so let's uh let's give that a go mm. that's delicious it's got a real lemony that sort of sharp flavor um but absolutely lovely and the chickpeas have a slight crunch to them and there's a real mint flavor in there as well a bit like a mint sauce lemony tomato chickpea I was told they're dolma, so I'm thinking dolma means stuffed, um, and it's a pepper with uh, bulgur wheat. What's really strange is these are the ones that are the dried ones that we see hanging up, and they've been rehydrated. So the flavour is incredibly tense, uh, intense, very, very intense. So we couldn't resist but order a couple of ikli kofte and uh, they're stuffed with minced lamb and delicious herbs and spices. They are so, so good rich meaty lamb crunchy on the outside and soft in the middle so all of that delicious food came to 163 tl so we've been wandering around it's only two o'clock we've had a long day we've seen a lot but we thought we'd uh, come and wander down a few more side streets and see if we could find somewhere nice to stop and have a cup of tea nice doors marianne there you go we spotted this tea house oh and a very noisy cat it's very noisy cup of tea so this is a lovely little tea shop just down by the castle lovely uh, tablecloths and material covered seats there look right by the road we're sitting and watching the world go by and inside is just the coolest little coffee shop this is the uh, the vine that goes up and through the roof have you enjoyed your walk around gaussian tech this morning yeah, yeah. It's been good. It's been are you still hungry oh, i could eat oh, i could eat kebab ben close to food coma <laughs> <laughs> there we go Chris has gone traditional. Look at that. Now I think this is pistachio coffee. Menengic coffee. Menengic coffee is made with pistachios. It's got a very unique flavour. Try. It, it's not chicory. I think everything in Turkey is strong. The tea, the coffee. <laughs> Marianne, looking at that face, she doesn't like it. It's actually growing on me as I drink it. It's not as harsh as Turkish coffee. It's a lot smoother to drink. So uh, yeah, definitely give this a go if you come to Antep. It's the thing to uh, try. I love the uh, the Simit man walking, balancing on his head. What a skill! Hello. <laughs> I like the uh, little irons. These ones you put the coal in, the hot coal in and iron. That's amazing. This shop's got all oldie woldy stuff. Yeah. And lovely little side streets and alleys. And this is the uh, the vine over the coffee shop that we've just been in. Now that's what you call a bread shop. Look, they're all there making the bread, the wood fire. Merhaba. Merhaba. Super. Merhaba. <laughs> 
We've come down to Chijeshi Mustafa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure of the pronunciation. We thought we would finish the day with having a amazing mixed kebab, mixed grill. And it's coming, but they've given us these all these mezes to start with. Like we haven't had enough food today. <laughs> no, so we've got salad, we've got some kofte, some more salad, some yeah. greens, some uh, esmex, some yogurt, some pickled cabbage. Ben's just worked out that those are really, is it that's, hot? That's really, that's a lot more spicy than Sahar's. <laughs> Thank you for taking my forgotten. Okay, <laughs> Jessica's yeah. going for it. I reckon it's probably pretty delicious. That is really good. Spicy. Oh, spicy. oh it's like a slow heat. No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not too bad. It's testing for Marianne whether that's spicy. Me and spicy, yeah. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> that's it, get in the yogurt. <laughs> This is where the magic's happening. This is where the dinner's being cooked. Oh! Look at all those different kebabs there. It's a very hot job. Okay, that's my. That's for me and Ben. Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Look at the size of that. It's like a whole bench. Oh, look at and the mushrooms. Not only does it go long, it goes up too. Wow, chopped deshikula. With bread, deshikula. Uh, we got tomatoes, some salad, some bread. Different, co uh, different uh, kebabs here. Look at this, mushrooms, some more salad, more kebabs. And just when we thought there wasn't enough, there's another kebab here in the yogurt. This is the one that we wanted to try earlier, but we didn't. This one is called Ali Nazik, apparently. I've never heard of that before, but Gaziantep has so many unique dishes. Uh, that's why some of these we don't actually know the exact name of, but they are amazing. I'm just like, we, I think we're going to be here a while, guys. It looks like a, a minced meat kebab in yogurt with some uh, pepper. Mm. Oh, beautiful mince meat with the creaminess of the yogurt, slight heat from a little bit of chili, some oil, absolutely mind blowingly delicious. Oh my god, that meat, that lamb, oh, is on a complete another level. They say that the, the, the meat, particularly in Gaziantep, is really, really good, and they're not wrong. Is that not amazing? So good. And then these aubergines, or patlijan as they're called in Turkish, have been roasted on the on the fire, on the barbecue. So we're going to take a little bit of that. And then inside they're stuffed with this meat. Look at that. Keep out the insides of the, uh, the aubergine. Look at that. With some of the meat. Put it all together. I can't explain how good that meat is. They've actually got bread here that's already covered in like chili paste, almost slightly sour. <laughs> There's not really an easy way to eat these, but we've crammed this with meat in the bread, bit of yogurt, bit of onion. <laughs> This might be the most contented look you've seen on Chris for a long time. <laughs> they just stabbed these skewers into the... Oh, look at that trip in there. Wowzers. And then this is like a... Looks like a sausage. How is it, Ben? Spicy sausage. Mmm. Like It is like Turkish chorizo. <laughs> well that was an absolutely fantastic end to the day and uh, wow Gaziantep food is on a whole nother level we've had a fantastic time hanging out with these guys if you haven't already seen them check out Overlanding Sophia what a lovely couple 
Very cool. Reminds me of when we were together 25 years ago. Oh, we're still like that now, oh. my sweetness. We're back at Trudy. I think there was a good call coming early because oh, this car park is rammed. It's the end of a wonderful day. We just parked up here in the car park and these lovely guys just came. They spotted the van and they bought us a little present. Yeah, it's not my time. Oh, Chok Teshikula. Everybody in Turkey is amazing. Oh. <laughs>